as we shared with you a few minutes ago, it's really important that I always remember in farrier school in the first 10 minutes, my instructor said, make the horse comfortable or you'll never be comfortable. So again, we're taking the leg as the horse would like it to be, just directly out behind them, find out where they want to be, be in their comfort zone, have the support gusset pointed away from you so you can get your foot well up onto the platform, and then just simply place your knee behind the fetlock, or if it'll encourage you to squat to keep your back in an anatomically correct way, you can put a knee on each side of the fetlock if the horse is a little more jittery. Normally I found just my knee behind is about all I need to stabilize them. See how comfortable this horse is? He is, hasn't had his foot in a hoof support system before, but because we're keeping that leg in, the, the webbing is very comfortable to the coronary bend. We have a really compliant horse. Now we can focus all our energy on the work and take our mind off our back and knees. Now, at any time during the procedure, if I need to stretch, adjust my back again and get comfortable, I can just stand up, keep the foot in there, take a little bit of a back stretch, and proceed to go back to work without having to drop the foot, pick it up, and start over again. We go to the filing procedure. What's nice is that the bar on the medial or the inside grabs the hoof and holds it there while we work, while we file. Also, you might notice that my elbow kind of has some stabilization in the hock too while I work. Keep that foot in there. For simplistic purposes, I have another base here, but all you do simply now is change from your cradle to your state post. Again, adjust it at any height, and you're ready to go back to work. Some of the other hoof stands on the market will have a through pin system in here. What I found with a through, sin, through pin system here is that you're always going to have, in the past, chatter. And what I found with other hoof stands is because of that, I would have to time my filing with the chatter. And I didn't care for that. The other thing is that was just enough that I found at certain times it didn't provide enough stability for the horse and it made them uncomfortable. Also, sometimes all you need is a quarter of an inch to make that horse more comfortable. Now you can set this at any height, screw it in. It's kind of like the belt on your pants. As long as you have it tight enough, you have no problem. I've also found that horses seem to like it. One size does not fit all that a little, they like the hoof support system a little bit lower on the hind than the front. Again, keeping them within their range of motion, we can put the hoof here now. I experimented with every, many different kinds of caps and came up here. This is a half inch pure rubber cap. Really holds the foot there. And when I'm filing, many times in the past when I just had my post with just a, a metal cap or a rasp or welded borium, as I'm creating this downward stroke, it made the horses really uncomfortable in the sole, especially thin-soled horses, laminitic horses. So this rubber cap really grabs the hoof and allows me to come in here and do my finish work and be comfortable. Again, gives me a chance to evaluate my work before I put the foot down.
Again, on the fronts, I like to drop it down all the way. You can spin this any way you want as well. But again, I want to emphasize to have the opposing gusset faced away from you so you can get your foot up here on the stand and really get your knee in here where it's supposed to be. Don't forget to tighten it down. And I'll remove my shaft just a minute here so you can see about, again, where my placement is for the knee. You can see he's offloading over here on his opposite hind and he's just dropping his weight bearing down in here, but yet I have no stress on my back or knees. Many times when I was out here conventionally doing it and putting it between my knees, I'm out here having to defy gravity. What I find here when I use this and I drop my weight down, this helps supports me now. And I can actually lean into this and give my back and knees relief again. As we can see, this horse is in some pretty dry ground and he's, he's doing a pretty good job of wearing off his toe here on his own. But he has gotten a little high heels here on the back. So, we'll go ahead and get him a little more comfortable. What's going to happen now is when I file, the bar on the inside or the medial side is going to catch the hoof so it doesn't jump out like this. And when I start filing back this way, my knee will act as resistance for the hoof not coming too far this way. Another thing I'd like to pass on, a little thing I've noticed over years of using a, using a hoof support system of some, of some nature, is that based on my experience, if we keep the straight post too tall and too far away from the horse, it seems to elicit a stretch rep response with the horse, and they do what I call, want to play circus elephant, and either stand on the post, or like I said, they want to stretch on the post. So I found that for the horse and myself, is that when we have the post down, ideally when we're flex need to keep our back straight while we're working, we'd like to have the base, the top of this cap, somewhere right around our kneecap. That seems to be follow in for my comfort as well as the horse's comfort. And then again, don't take it too far away from the horse. As always remember, the horse isn't comfortable, you'll never be comfortable. Again, you can flip it around anywhere you want. And then I found that many times with a, a stabilized with a knee behind for rasping, and in some instances I'll either bring I'll either bring my other knee around and encompass the hoof capsule like this to stabilize it and to remove our flares. Again, make sure that you're pretty much almost directly out in front of the horse instead of the side again. Again, it's not the style, the trim that I'm trying to show, but a body style and a positioning to use the hoof jack product. Instructional video available online at hoofjack.com.